Good morning, this is Joyce, and I am back with the project share, and it is for our Saturday morning challenge of friends with Shantae. And this week we have two guests, uh, Markeisha from Step Staple um, Staple and One. I think that's how you pronounce it. I've never said it out loud. And Felisa Monti, and her channel is Felisa Monti. I will put the links in the bottom in the box below. And ladies, if I didn't say any of the names correctly, please let me know, cause you know I am bad about that. Uh, oh, I'm so glad it's Saturday, and I'm so glad to be here. We have not done a challenge of friends since before Christmas, so it's good to be back. And I have had such a hard week, it has been so busy at work that I am just very happy to be here and be able to play in my room and to stay here all day if I want to. So, enough of that. Our challenge this week was to do two domino charms. It had to have a dangling and to make a box or a bag or something to put it in. It had to have packaging. So first I'm going to show you my dominoes and I played around with a few. I love using my alcohol inks. I've done it before, so I love using my alcohol inks, and I really like how this one turned out. It's got a little black, a little blue. I put some alcohol ink around it, colored the back. I'm not sure what I'll do with this one, but I just love the model look. You know, I really loved how that turned out, but didn't want to use that one. Then this one, I put a hole in it. The hole is off center a bit. I'll still use it for something, but it's just red and silver and a little gold. And I did it on both sides. I kind of wanted to cover my numbers, but then I kind of like the look of the numbers because then, hey, you know, it's a domino. And same with this one. I used the red, mostly red on this one. And I stamped on it. I love that image. It is from one of the... Oh, I can show you the stamp, but it doesn't have the name or anything on it. But it goes with some Graphic 45 paper. Love them. Use them all the time. So I just stamped one of the images on that. But uh, not using it because... Oh, it has a hole in the center, so I'll probably use it later. I use my crafty drill with the fine bit um, drill bit to put the holes in and now let me tell you I use this this image and this one from this stamp I've used these before and I found these two uh, had already been colored and cut and in, in that bowl when I was cleaning up and I kept them and I decided to uh, use them but I love this stamp because I did get so many images and it's it's so good for projects like the dominoes or the little wood square, uh, squares you know to decorate and use for embellishments and stuff so I use that the stamp is by Hampton Art and that's who makes these other stamps too I'm so glad I read that um, and I've had this stamp for years it's um, Diffusions, and it was created by Jill Meyer, and it's called Paris Moments, but it doesn't have a year on it, but I know I've had it for about three years, four years, maybe. So we'll move that aside. Um, so first, let me show you my charm. And that is what it looks like. And because I was playing with red, silvers, and golds, that is exactly what my domino. I um, use my alcohol inks. Got something on there. And I just sponged it all over using one of the Tim Holtz bigger sponges. Um, that's it. 
the the bell I bought at uh, oh I forget because I bought them so long ago when I was playing a lot with the dominoes and this part I bought at hmm probably Michael's all this stuff comes from my stash I didn't buy anything new the beads are from my stash also so I just beaded two together on a little metal piece put some loops added it to the bell not exciting but I really like this so I use these to make charms for friends and they warm on chain so this one could actually be put on a chain but that is it I mean that's the first one I really like it let me know what you think and then remember that stamped image from the Hampton art set from graphic 45 I stamped her on this one after ink in my domino with the red and the silver on this one and then I just did the beads and a few spacers and I used silver uh, accessories to the bell and stuff is silver and it can also be worn on a chain or it can be put on a key ring or whatever you like I would like to put my bling probably use some better ink I just used the sticky that was on the back so that is that and those are my two charms so I'm liking that so far but you also had to have packaging so I went to Michael's because I really didn't packaging isn't my biggest <laughs> creative path to take I don't do really well with it so but I do like doing boxes so I went to Michaels and I bought two boxes I bought this one that looks like a little treasure chest treasure chest it is from art minds and it was one dollar well the one I used has a quite different shape and it but it was a dollar also so but it was more squared so that is my box and I was paint, gonna paint it with regular paint. I pulled the paint out and I thought, you know, paint changes the depth of your project. It makes it stick, it makes it bigger, you know, and then it doesn't quite fit the way it should. So what I did was I took some dilution spray and I think it's the really red or something red and I just poured me some in a little cup and I took my brush and I stained my box with it yes I did I took off all the hardware and the, the ink just soaked right into the box and I thought oh that is so cool so I stained it and that's how I got this really rich color I didn't dilute it or anything got a little ink on there but actually there was something on the box and but I like the I like that little texture on there and so I used flowers the black ones are from Michaels the recollection the red one is um, some really old when Michaels used to sell Prima before they got all their own brands and you could get the three different shades of color in a package and they were just the best and I stocked up on them and I still have a few and then Michaels came out with their own you know and I think they were all made by the same people but these are actually the Prima ones because they were uh, st I wrote wrote it down and put it in the packaging that I'm keeping them in I've stuck in a few little red bling just because there was too much space and those are from Jolie bought them on clearance this bling here is uh, Prima. Uh, some I bought on clearance somewhere and it's been hanging there. And these butterflies, which I just love those, are recollections. I've had them, bought them on clearance a long, what, a year or so ago. Never used them. So our challenge is all about using your product and you know not by you know I bought the box just because I didn't have anything but everything else is from my stash which is great and then I had this 
Chinese braid that I bought about six rolls. They were two dollars a piece for four yards at Hobby Lobby and they were all in the clearance bin and I got all kinds. I got chocolate brown. I got some pale pink um, more vintagey looking color pink. I got creams. I bought several. So, and first time I ever used it so this project was great for that. I love the design on this and so that's where that came from and then I just wrapped a piece around the box I didn't want to overdo the box because it is so small but I love it I think it's so cute don't you think it's so cute so I am going to show you that yes they will fit in the box there you go all right, that is my project for today's uh, Saturday morning challenge of friends. Be sure to check out Shantae. I will have a link to her um, channel in the box below, along with Markeisha and Felisa. And, and I know I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but she has uh, been a crafter for a long time. I first came across her on... Oh, one of the Ning sites, and right now it eludes me, but she, uh, yeah, I met, that's when I first met her, so I am so glad that she decided to uh, play with us this week, and Markeisha, hi, glad you decided to come over and have some fun, I hope, so that is it for today, as you can see my box, and my dominoes, and they, uh, and they both fit. So I'm loving it. Bye, everybody. Be sure to check the other ladies uh, out their channels. Thank you for watching. Bye. I think this video got to be a little too long. Have a good day.